regular exercise and eating right. Most Americans think that's all they have to do to stay fit. Few realize that maintaining good health records is another vital part of staying healthy. Every time a visit is made to a doctor, a record is created. That health record is used to determine what tests a person may need, along with a treatment plan. As people visit different doctors for various ailments, records are created, but they're not always compiled into one file and often lack order. It's a problem that can create major issues and cause confusion for a caregiver. My parents spend the summer months in Minnesota and the winter months in South Texas and they have doctors in both places, both family practitioners and specialists, and they were finding they were being asked the same questions and had lab work repeated, um, tests repeated, and discovered it was easier if they started a record of their own. My mom is 75 years old and she has some chronic health problems and she had been going to the same doctor for about 30 years and unfortunately the doctor passed and she had to be hospitalized and she had had some tests done at the local hospital and uh, we were unable to get her records and we didn't know how to go about getting her personal records, her medical records from the doctor since he had died. Providing accurate, up-to-date information about one's health is a crucial part of receiving good medical care, especially in an emergency situation. We started uh, maintaining mother's medical records because uh, she had a diabetic uh, coma and had passed out and ended up being in the hospital and was started on insulin. Developing and maintaining a personal health record is one way of ensuring that the best treatment plan is carried out. A personal health record can really help an individual um, bridge uh, and coordinate their own care. Having access to information about prior health care, the medications you're on, test results can be a real aid to your physicians and to you as an individual in, in reminding you uh, what kind of medical care you've had and what kind of health goals you've set for yourself. It's always been important that patients paid attention to their health information. But now, with challenges th like increased costs that patients are having to bear and the complexity of tests, that patients see many physicians or other kinds of health care providers, it's more important than ever that patients take a personal responsibility to keep track of their health record by using a personal health record, by creating that, whether they do it electronically or on paper. Putting a personal health record together may take a little time, but it may just help save countless lives. Because I believe so passionately in maintaining your own personal health record, that's why I volunteered to go out in the community and help teach other people how to maintain their personal health records. Going forward, we have uh, put together a personal uh, health record for my mom, and as a result, I've learned that I need to do that for myself and for my family. And it's important to have that information in order to coordinate your care and have that information for emergency situations or just for every day. I started a personal health record for my three sons. My goal was to create their personal health history until they were the age of 18 or older when they finally left, went to college, or they had their own apartment, and I gave them their history so they could then communicate and talk with their doctors about what their past was. We would strongly encourage people to visit myphr.com. This website has been created uh, for consumers to really step them through this process, to uh, guide them as to what their information rights are, what the steps are to get access to their information, to help them understand what kinds of information will be most valuable for themselves, for their children, for elder uh, parents they may be caring for. Founded in 1928 and based in Chicago, the American Health Information Management Association, AHIMA, is dedicated to improving the overall quality, security, reliability, and exchangeability of health information management. In support of their mission, the organization is launching a campaign urging consumers to develop their own personal health record. A personal health record is a collection of information about you, about your health, and about the medical care that you've received. Through the AHIMA Foundation of Research and Education, AHIMA and its members focus on advancing the health information field through awareness and education. This campaign is really important to us because um, 
patients have a right to understand how to use their health information to manage their own health care. Providing an updated and accurate personal health care record helps caregivers develop quality treatment plans and allows consumers to play a more active role in their health care. People should know that they have right to have access to their information and they should feel empowered to ask for copies of important information either in paper or in electronic form. You can start from this day forward and maintain all of your uh, medical history and get copies of your tests and lab results and keep it together in one location for when you need it for doctor's visits. The organization has developed a special website and a step-by-step -step guide to help consumers learn more about personal health records and how to create them. When people log on to the website, what they're going to see is education on what is this topic, what is a personal health record, how do I use it, how will I benefit by this, this concept of a personal health record. Developing a personal health record is the first step to fortifying your health and the health of your loved ones.